All right, let's get this going. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Staying healthy? Yes, how about you? Same, same, yes. <laughs> this All right, you ready? you ready to get going? Yes. All right, yes. sounds good, let's do it. So we're gonna bring ourselves to our mat, turn ourselves top to bottom, side to side. And start with a couple of deep breaths. So filling that belly up with air, blow it all the way out. And one more deep breath. All right, let's bend those knees up. Find that neutral spine. So points at the hips coming towards that belly button. So let's take a couple more deep breaths right here. So fill it all the way up and exhale. And one more good one. Deep breath in and exhale. All right, so let's bring those legs to a tabletop position. Head, neck, and shoulders roll up. Arms come out straight past the hips, and we're going to start poking those arms vigorously for the 100. So inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, exhale. <laughs> inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale. Exhale. And hug those knees right into the chest. Rock it out side to side. Roll the neck out a little bit. So now we're nice and warm. We built up that heat. Let's bring the feet to the floor. We're going to bring the arms right down by our sides, making sure that we're nice and grounded. We're going to tuck the chin to the chest, slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time, sitting tall at the top, and we're going to slowly roll it right back down, one vertebrae at a time. And let's bring it right back up, tuck that chin, roll it in, and sitting tall at the top, and slowly right back down, articulate slow. Let's do one more. So tuck that chin, slowly bringing it up. Get that C with the belly, sitting tall, shoulders roll back. And then we're going to bring that C back in and roll it right back down and bring it down. Nice. All right, so let's grab the back of the thighs. We're going to rock ourselves up to a seated position. So sliding forward just a little bit. We're going to bring the power to the arms. So we've got a slight bend, a little tension here. Shoulders are back, lifting one leg, lifting the other leg. We're going to find that balance right here. Then we're going to straighten out those arms, testing our balance, get the C curve in the spine, and then sit it right back up. Let's do two more. So find that C curve, straighten out those arms, and lift it right back up. Last one, so tuck that chin C curve. And lifting right back up. Bring those legs down for a second. Nice deep breath. <laughs> those are always hard to talk and do. So, <laughs> all right. So now we're gonna do rolling like a ball. So bring one foot up, opposite foot up. We're gonna rock back to the shoulder blade. So roll it back and lift back up, and roll it back and lift up, and roll it back and lift right back up. Let's bring those feet back down. Nice job. All right, bringing ourselves back onto the mat nice and slowly. Bring your heels right in towards your glutes. Making sure those hips are grounded. We've got that neutral spine happening. We're going to lift one leg straight up. We're going to go for our single leg circle. So remembering to have that foot in a neutral position, we're going to go up, around, and out. Up, around, up. Up, around, and out. Up, around, in. Why are we saying out? We're going in. Up, around, and in. Up, around, in. Up, around, in. And we're going to reverse. So across, around, and up. Across, around, up. Across, around, up. Let's do three more. Three, two, and one. And let's do this. So refining that grounding, making sure those hips are nice and steady. We'll bring that leg, that opposite leg up. Neutral with the foot. We don't want it too pointed or too flat. Nice and neutral. So we're going to bring it up, around, and in. Up, around, in. Up, around.
around and let's go for three more on this side. Three, two, and one. And we're going to reverse that direction. So across, around, and up. Across, around, and up. Across, around, up. And three, two, and last one. Nice. Okay. Now we're going to get a little bit of core happening up in here. So we're going to do those Pilates core exercises. Back to back, we're going to go through it two times. Okay, so hug the knees right into the chest. We are going to bring one leg out to the high diagonal. Both hands are going to go on to one knee. And we're going to lift the head, neck, and shoulders up off of the mat. Inhale, exhale, switch legs. And inhale. Exhale, switch legs. Inhale, exhale, switch legs. Inhale, exhale, switch legs. Now let's speed up. So inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Hug the knees right into the chest. Okay, for this next one, we're going to do a double knee pull. That was your single, now we're going to go to the double. So rock out that spine if you need to. Shake the head from side to side. All right, so hugging those knees in, we're going to bring the head, neck, and shoulders up off the mat. Everything is going to the high diagonal. We're going to inhale, scoop around, exhale. Inhale, reach, exhale, scoop. Inhale, reach. Exhale, scoop. We're going to go for four more. So four, three, two, and last one. And let the head come down. Rock it side to side. Fix your hair if you need to. I did braids today, but they keep trying to move. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to bring both feet right to the ceiling. Splitting those legs just a little bit, we're going to put both hands onto one side. This is for your scissors. So roll that head, neck, and shoulders up, and we are going to pull, pull, and switch. Pull, pull, and switch. Now let's pick up the speed. So pull, pull, switch, 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 and relax. Okay, so if we lift these down, we're going to make that diamond with our hands, bring it right underneath the tailbone to keep our hips in a neutral position. If you do want to challenge, you can always put your hands right by your side. Otherwise, we're going to make that diamond right under our tailbone. Legs are going to go back up to the ceiling. In this one, we're going to bring the head, neck, and shoulders up, lower to the high diagonal, and right back up. And we're going to do eight of these. So eight, seven, Keep those sides loose, heels together. Four, three, two, and one. And hug it in, slowly bring your hands out from underneath. All right, rock it out. The next one, we're going to bring the legs to tabletop, hands go right behind the head. This is your bicycle. We're going to go right into the bicycle position. So one leg on the high diagonal, opposite elbows to opposite knees, lift through the center and switch legs. We back up through the center, switch legs. And through the center, switch. Through the center, switch. And coming back, keep those shoulder blades up. Couple more here. Really squeeze. Make sure you breathe and hug the knees into the chest. Woo! All right, shake it out a little bit. Rock it out side to side. Make sure that your back feels good. It feels stretched out enough and ready to go. We're going to do all of those again. So, you're going for that single knee pull. So, one leg on the high diagonal, both hands on to one knee. We're going to roll up the head, neck, and shoulders. We are going to go right for the feed. So inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Have both knees in. Nice job. All right, now we're going for our double knee pulse. So 
Both hands on those shins. We're going to roll the head, neck, and shoulders up. Reaching everything out to that high diagonal. Inhale. Exhale, scoop it around. Inhale, reach. Exhale, scoop. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hug those knees. Inhale, reach. Exhale, scoop. Inhale, reach. Exhale, scoop. Two more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hug and relax. <laughs> Feels so good when you can put that head back down. Okay. Both feet right to the ceiling. We're going to get that little split in the legs for our scissors. Both hands on to one side. We're going to lift the head back and shoulders up. And we are going for it. So pull, pull, switch. 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 And breathe. Nice. Those are a lot for me, verbally. <laughs> All right, let's get that diamond. Here you put the feet down. Diamond, you bring it right underneath the tailbone. For those leg lifts, we want to make sure heels are together, thighs are squeezed as best we can. Head, neck, and shoulders rolls up. We're going to lower to the high diagonal and lift and lower and lift. We've got six more, so six, five. Four, three, two, and last one. And slowly bring those hands back out, hug the knees in, let the neck relax down. Woo! All right. Legs back to tabletop position, hands behind the head. We're going to keep that one leg out onto the high diagonal. We're going for our bicycle. So opposite elbow to opposite knee. And we're going to pull through the center and switch. And reach the center and switch. And bring it back across and over. Keep lifting as you switch. Make sure you breathe and switch. Bring it across. Keep the shoulder blades up and over. Let's go one more each side. Over, elbows wide, and bring it down. Nice work. Okay, grab the back of those thighs, wrap yourself up to a seated position. I think our abs are thoroughly worked, so we'll get a little stretch action happening. So back to yourselves up onto the mat. We're going to bring those legs just outside the mat with flexing those feet hard. Maybe we'll warm up and stuff so you can see them. <laughs> All right, let's bring those arms straight out in front. So the blades are back and down. We want that belly button in and up. So that way we kick in that diaphragm too, and that's your big breathing muscle. This is really important in your core. So arms are up straight, abs are in, shoulders back. We're going to inhale. We're going to exhale, fold it forward. And inhale, sit tall. And exhale, relax a little. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, relax. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, forward. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, relax. All right, let's speed this up a little bit. So we're going to inhale, sit tall. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, sit tall. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, sit tall. And exhale, fold forward. Do one more, but we're going to hold it this time. So inhale, and we're going to exhale and hold. Oh my God, let's start hands. This is not the idea here. <laughs> and sitting tall again, shake those shoulders out. He thinks he's involved, giving me licks and kisses while we're going. <laughs> he's lucky he's cute. <laughs> All right, let's bring those arms out into a T motion. Shoulders are back, nice long neck here. Core is in, hips are under, so we're on our sit bones. We're going to rotate it around. Soft that pinky toe and look at that back hand. And then we're going to come back up to that key position and switch sides. So we want to soft that pinky toe and look at that back hand. And come right back to key. So these are called your saws because you saw an off the pinky toe. Let's rotate it again. Soft that toe, but look at the back hand. And lift up tall. And rotate. And soft that pinky toe. And let's do right back up. Let's go one more each side. So rotate, 
Start up and sit tall and rotate. Start up and sit tall and bring those arms down. Keep them up. All right, let's center ourselves on our mats again. So laying down, pop the bottom side to side. We are going to ground ourselves. So right here, I want you to take those hip bones and pull them towards your belly button. Engage that core. Really ground the hip bones down. Then we're going to bring both feet up to the ceiling. Pushing those heels together. We want a little bit of a flex. This doesn't have to be super, super tight. We just want a little one. From here, our goal is to not let those hips go blah, blah. We want to keep them nice and steady, keep that core tight, and we're going to corkscrew, so both directions. So we're going to go around, lift up, reverse, lift up, around, lift up, reverse, lift up. Let's keep this circle going, keep that core engaged, everything tight, squeeze those thighs. You got this, guys. Nice deep breath. Around, lift up, reverse, lift up, and hug the knees in. Nice job. All right. We are going to flip over onto our stomach. So we're going to go for that swan trip again. If you've taken the class before, we've done this one before. Um, I have back issues, so I understand if you choose to not do this one. Um, but it does help with the back issues. It helps to strengthen up the back. If you can attempt it, that's good, but it's going to irritate. Don't do it. So we're going to take one hand stacked on top of the other, up about wide. We're going to rest our heads down here. The important thing in this position is that we take those hip bones, the lower hip bones, and drive them down into that mat so that our glutes are squeezed and our thighs are engaged. We also want to take those lower abs and lift them so they almost have a little gap between your abs and the mat. So you want to be down. You want to lift and squeeze so that everything is so, so tight. From here, we're going to lift the arms, the chest, and the head all up at the same time. We're going to lift and lower. And lift and lower. So on this last one, we're going to pulse. So lift, hold, and pulse for three, two, one, and lower. So that's what we got. Not too, too bad. All right. So from here, you can keep your head here if it's comfortable. If you want to go for a little bit more of a core stretch, since we did a lot of core today. Just here, we got a little bit of power with it. If this is okay on your back, if not, just bring yourself slower. Reassess those hips. Now your lower abs should really be able to lift up off of that mat if you want it to be nice and tight. And your quads should be squeezed so that your toes, you feel it all the way to your toes. You want to squeeze that hard. And we're going to take one foot to our glutes. And then on the way down, I want you to lift. And lower. So you're squeezing that thigh so tight. So switch legs. Squeeze tight and lower. And keep it up. We're going to squeeze tight and lower. See how my kneecap's coming up? We want to make sure we see that. So switch legs. Squeeze tight and lower. Squeeze up. And squeeze even tighter to come down. Last leg. And bring it down tight. Okay, now reassessing those hips. We're going to keep it back tight as we kick faster. So we're going to kick. Keep giving it a move down the room, please. 
Flex the feet so that we've got a little power here and hover that top leg. We then want to push the leg away from the hip joint so that we've got it nice and long. A little space right here. All right, so we're going to flex the foot as we kick forward, and we're going to push the toe and be scoop it back. So flex it forward, scoop it back. Keep the core tight as you scoop it back. Make sure not to rock and switch the foot around. It makes it a little bit tougher, but it's still really good. So flex it forward, point it back. Flex it forward, point it back. All right, let's re-stack those hips, push the hip joint away, and we're going to lift for three, two, one, lower. Three, two, one, lower. Three, two, one, lower, three, two, one, hold, and we're going to lower for three, two, one, lift, three, two, one, lift, three, two, one, lift, three, two, one, hover, and we're going to circle forward for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, reverse for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one, and kick. Get that stretch, and then bring the leg down. So now you can either scoop the hand through the hole right here and grab onto your ankle, or you can lay that leg flat. Depends on what's more comfortable for you. And we're gonna flex that bottom leg so that it's got a little bit of a hover itself. Core is still engaged, and we're gonna lift and lower, lift and lower, lift. And lower, we've got four more. So four, three, two, and last one. And lower. Okay, now you can barrel roll over, but I'm gonna rotate the other direction. <laughs> so on to the knee. So again, lining your back up with the mat. We're gonna bring that hand up off of the hand right in front, toes to the front of your mat, feet are flat. Core is engaged, obliques are engaged, hips are engaged. We want it all tight here. Flex those feet, hover that top leg, push it away from your hip joint so we've got that good space. Now we're going to kick it forward and scoop it back. So flex the foot, point the toe. Flex the foot, point the toe. Flex the foot, point the toe. Kick it forward. Scoop it back. Kick it forward. Scoop it back. We've got a couple more. Keep that pattern. Really flex and really point. Flex it forward. Scoop it back. Cover that leg. Push it away from that hip joint. If you have a tendency to want to hike our hips, don't do it here. We're avoiding it. All right, so we're going to kick it up for three, two, one, and lower. For three, two, one, lower. Three, two, one, lower. Three, two, one, and hold. And lower. For three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, hover. And we're going to circle forward for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, reverse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, kick it up, get that stretch, and bring that leg down. Now, again, you can scoop through the hole, grab onto that ankle, or we can lay it flat, flex that bottom leg. Now, we're going to work with the bottom leg. So, keeping the core nice and tight, we're going to lift and lower, and lift and lower, and lift and lower. For six, for five, for four, three, two, and last one, and relax it down. Nice. All right, we're going to go back to our back now. Take it out a little bit. Do whatever you need to do. We can all back up, bring the knees into the chest, rock it side to side. Massage out that back just a little bit. Okay, feet are going to go flat on the floor. So we did our roll-ups at the beginning. That was our warm-up. 
Now we're going to test them a little bit. This is called a teaser. So you're going to bring your legs straight out so that it lines up on that high diagonal. We're also going to bring our arms out onto that high diagonal. Now we're going to do the exact same thing, but with the leg up, it's just going to make this tougher. So we're going to put that chin, roll up, and sit up at the top and stretch for that toe. Slowly roll it right back down. So tuck the chin, lift, and lower. And we're going to lift and stretch and lower. And let's switch legs. So keeping everything nice and tight, toe pointed, we're going to tuck the chin and lift. Stretch and lower. Two more. Tuck it. Lift and lower. And we're going to lift, stretch, and lower. Nice job. Bring it down. We can rock those hips from side to side. So I'll loosen up those hips just a little bit. I know my legs feel a little bit shaky. So I feel that. <laughs> okay, awesome. So now we're going to take. Grab on the back of the thighs, rock ourselves up to a seated position, and then go on to all fours. I got to move all over the place today. We're feeling all of it. Okay, so we're going to bring the hands right underneath the shoulders, making sure we've got power in that chest. Our shoulder blades roll down our back, our abs come in and up, and we're going to take one leg back, then the opposite leg back, and hold for 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower one knee down, opposite knee down. Now let's reach back. So power into that chest. Nice straight arms. Elbows, uh, shoulders are backing down. Abs are in. Our head is neutral. We're looking forward. We're going to take one leg back. Opposite leg back and hold for 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring one knee down, opposite knee down. Okay, we're going to keep our arms right where they are. Back those knees up just a little bit. And then we're going to drop those hips down. So we're going to high plank, but on our knees. Keeping the elbows right by your side. We're going to lower ourselves for a tricep push-up. So tucking the elbows in, come on down to the mat. And lift it right back up. Give it your best effort here. These are hard. They're not easy. And we're going to lower. And lift. You've got three more. So lower. And lift. And lower. And lift. Last one. Lower. And lift. And we're going to push our flush back. Knees are going to open up. And we're just going to sink down to that kind of pose again. Just get a little extra stretch right here. Take a nice deep breath. Slowly roll yourself right back up. Just double check and make sure we're good. Oh, perfect. All right, so take a nice seat onto that mat. Reassert yourself right into that sit bone position. Shoulders back, core in. We're going to take a nice deep breath here. Now we're just going to reach it up. Do another nice deep breath in. Exhale, roll those arms back. And you guys are all set to go. Thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully I see you next week. Have a great one, guys.